love you through and through. Two-year-old Mira listens to recordings her dad, Joe Clark, made for her when he knew he was dying from colon cancer. He was told he was stage four when we were just a month pregnant. So everything about that became about making it to the day she was born. Clark started chemotherapy in 2011 and stopped treatment in September 2014. His widow, Amanda, says when to stop was the hardest decision. He died two months later when Mira was 11 months old. He looked at me and he said, you know, she's a baby and I'd almost rather her not remember this and not remember me than her be four or five and have to lose her dad. Medical guidelines advise against harsh, painful treatments like chemo and radiation for dying cancer patients, but new research suggests three out of four patients younger than 65 get aggressive treatment in the last 30 days before dying. The overuse of aggressive care at the very end of life in cancer patients is recognized as one of the most important issues in all of oncology. Experts say dying patients should get comfort care instead. One of the reasons patients keep fighting is that they don't feel like they are at the end of their life. There are times when we are faced with patients who are begging us not to give up on them. Amanda Clark believes her husband would have stopped treatment sooner, but felt an obligation to fight for his family's sake. I often wondered if he wished he hadn't done it because of all that he had to go through. Now the memories of his suffering are replaced with the soothing sounds of his voice, comforting his daughter. Marina Hutchinson, The Associated Press.